السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Ladies and gentlemen and respected respected judges, let me take you to a beautiful and a miraculous journey of history of Islam. It is a journey of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with his companion Abu Bakr Law An. Abu Bakr Law An. A man with a wise vision earned the name Abu Bakr, the father of Kamal's calf, for his love for camels. Three years younger to Muhammad, Abu Bakr was the most trusted companion, father-in-law of Prophet through his daughter Aisha Lawan, as well as Khalifa Islam. It was during the period Prophet Muhammad started preaching Islam openly. The Qurayshis of Makkah rejected the Prophet Law's messenger, the ruthlessly torching Prophet's followers at this juncture, Allah out of her hijarat from Makkah to Yathrib or Medina. Before migration of the Prophet, many Muslims emigrated to Medina. When the time of Prophet's migration approached, Abu Bakr asked the Prophet's permission to accompany him. A few days later, Prophet's house was seized by a group of swan men representing all the tribes of Makkah, intending to kill him together with the mercy and honor of Allah. Prophet left his cousin in his bed, slipped unnoticed from the house, and departed to Medina. A worker joined with him in this journey. Initially, they, could, they, they took refuge in the cave of Thor. Quraysh engaged with the escape of Prophet, sent search parties to catch and kill him. During their stay in the cave, several miracles took place, showing the mercy of Allah. Dear friends, everyone claims about their love for Prophet. But do you want to know what real love is? Real love is when companion Abu Bakr didn't move a single inch when his foot was bitten by a poisonous insect because the, because the Prophet was peacefully sleeping on his lap. This is love. The Prophet's love was neither less on finding the cause of his companion's tears. He took his salva and applied on the wound. Miraculously, salva healed the wound and the pain vanished. Allah showed mercy once again on the third day of their refuge. When Quraysh troops were in close contact with the Prophet Muhammad and Abu Bakr, when Allah showed mercy, when a spider knit a web and a pigeon laid some eggs near the entrance of the cave, this gave the impression that no man had entered the cave for quite some time. Seeing this, the soldiers turned away and failed to find the Prophet. The merciful act of Allah and the miracle saved the Prophet and Abu Bakr from infidels, subsequently left to Medina. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they are there. Friendship is a great responsibility and is not an opportunity. In the present scenario, no man will fail his true, sincere, and caring and liking friends. Friendship is not about whom you have known longest. It is about who came and never left your side. The friendship of our worker, the Prophet Muhammad. I conclude my speech by saying, a tree is known by its fruits, a man by his deeds, a good deed is never lost. He who shows courtesy reaps friendship, and he who plants kindness gathers love. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.